good morning y'all uh, i stayed at the blackburn trail center um blackburn trail center it's, it's kind of like a shelter well it's kind of like a hostel but um that um it's funded by the atc i think um but they allow free one night camping there and it's just right along the trail well there, there's like a little blue blaze that just takes you down to it um but yeah they have like tent pads and i do believe they also have a uh like a, a little camp ground kind of area that i didn't quite get to it's still on up here i actually think this is the trail that ends up going to it but uh um it's just a little blue blaze loop trail but i just came back the way that i came but uh yeah i see blackburn trail center up there but um yeah um blackburn it was cool um, really cool little place. I, I got a little bit of video of it. Um, but, uh, yeah, they actually have a solar shower there too. I didn't use it, um, because it is just cold water and I didn't really feel like doing that. Um, but, uh, um, yeah, they, yeah, they had tent pads. I just set up on a tent pad. It wasn't too bad. It was, um, and I tried sleeping on my foam pad again. Um, but on a, on a hard flat surface, with the foam pad it's not it's not as comfortable as if you're just on like dirt or grass um, but uh yeah i didn't sleep too great um but yeah the weather was good well it was it was really warm there wasn't any storms or anything it was just kind of warm i hardly used my my quilt at all um but i just left blackburn trail center um we are 12 miles 12 and some change away from uh harper's ferry which is really cool um and we're about like three miles away from a shelter that i may stop and get more water but who knows um but uh yeah i'm gonna stop in harper's ferry i'm gonna go to the atc which is the appalachian trail conservancy and uh, i can get my picture taken um it's kind of like the halfway point picture and uh I think that's also the picture that the baby they use for the yearbook. I'm I'm not sure. Um, yeah, they do a uh, like a a yearbook where you can get your picture taken. I don't know if you submit a picture or if that's the one they use. I'm not sure, but um, I was going to ask them when I'm there to figure that out because it would be cool to have a little yearbook of everybody. And uh, but um yeah, and I actually plan on hiking out of Harper's Ferry today as well. So 12 into Harper's Ferry, and then I plan on staying at the first shelter that is past Harper's Ferry, and I believe it's in, I believe that's Maryland, so we may cross another state today, who knows. Um, but uh, yeah, that would be, yeah, 12 into Harper's, and then another six, so like an 18 mile day, something like that. Um, and I'm also going to get an extra day of food um, whenever I stop in Harper's Ferry, find like a little grocery store or something, gas station that'll do whichever but um yeah that's the plan today hiking to harper's ferry let's get to it
what's up y'all well i made it to keys gap that's where that uh welcome to west virginia sign was and uh down the other way is where i uh, went to a gas station and uh, i went ahead and just picked up some uh um just like a day's worth of um just bars and you know snacks and stuff because I, I have an extra oatmeal for an extra day and uh when i'm in harper's ferry i may go into the outfitter or if they have a store or something and pick up just one extra dinner and then i'll be set for an extra day um but yeah right now we are um six miles away from harper's ferry that is the next thing we'll see um that's kind of the uh unofficial like halfway point it's kind of i don't know it's kind of like the maybe the biggest town near the halfway point that's just why it's called that but um yeah six miles away from harper's ferry Let's get to it. What's up guys well a little thunderstorm came through um man it was really nice though like right before it happened you know i could hear some thunder and man it was a nice cool breeze i mean past past two or three days it's been real humid out so having some uh cool breeze come up through here man god it felt amazing um but yeah but then it started sprinkling and i was like yeah i don't need my rain jacket and then it started pouring <laughs> so i was like all right let's put my rain jacket on and then, you know, it was only like maybe four or five minutes after I put on my rain jacket that uh, it, it kind of lightened up a bit, <laughs> of course. And I bet if I take my rain jacket on, it's probably gonna start pouring again, but, uh, or take my rain jacket off. Um, um, but yeah, I just checked far out and we are two miles away from the Shenandoah River Bridge and three miles away until we're um, in the center of town in uh, Harpers Ferry which uh, I think before that, so probably like two and a half miles, is where I can take the, uh, the street up to uh, the um, ATC headquarters building. So, but uh, yeah, I'll film all that too. Me walk into the building or, or whatever. Um, but uh, yeah, gonna get my picture taken. That'll be cool. Um, but uh, yeah, two, two miles from the Shenandoah Bridge and probably two and a half to three until I'm in the town of Harpers Ferry. All right, that's the update. What's up guys? I think that's the uh, Shenandoah River right there. I think we'll end up crossing a bridge. I don't know if it's, uh, if it's that bridge or not, but uh, uh, we do end up crossing a bridge into uh, Harpers Ferry. And then whenever we leave Harpers Ferry, I think we cross the Potomac. But uh, yeah, this, uh, the Shenandoah flows into the Potomac and the Potomac I think goes out into the Atlantic. Um, well, that, the Potomac I think is what goes through Washington DC actually, but uh, yeah. Shenandoah River.
what's up guys well i just uh left the atc uh, appalachian trail conservancy i got my picture taken um if i haven't put it in the video yet i will put it in right here um but uh yeah i just made it back to the trail which the trail doesn't go to the atc it's actually like a like a 0.4 blue blaze um and uh um, there's just a building in town that you go to and um, the guy will come out. He'll take your picture and um, he basically puts it in like a log book and uh, yeah. Um, yeah and you get your number on how many people actually made it to uh, Harper's Ferry and I am 1004 so number 1004 that's me black dog all right but um, I'm back to the trail I'm going to keep on pushing on today um, I'm going to go like six miles past Harper's Ferry to a shelter. Um, but I'm this trail, you know, it goes across the Shenandoah and then it'll end up kind of wrapping around town and it, even going into town near the, uh, I think it's the Potomac bridge or the bridge that goes over the Potomac. So, uh, but yeah, that's what we have, uh, uh, ahead of us. Um, I think there's an outfitter that the trail goes by too. I may stop and check out that outfitter, but, um, uh, yeah, that's the plan for now. Let's keep on going. What's up guys? Well, I'm on the CNO Canal. Um, this is crossing, I believe, the Potomac River. Um, and I think that's the Shenandoah on the uh, the other side over there flowing into it. I think this is kind of like the fork, pretty much. Um, but uh, yeah, I just left uh, Harper's Ferry. Um, I ate at the Cannonball Deli. It was really good. And then I stopped at the Outfitter. Um, what did I get at the, oh yeah, the outfitter had some instant potatoes and, uh, um, like a pack of those, uh, like great value barbecue pulled pork. I went ahead and picked up some of that, but, uh, yeah, and this place is really pretty. Check it out. Um, but, um, yeah, I just checked far out and the shelter I plan on staying at is like 4.4 miles away. So, uh, yeah, and it's currently 518 right now, so I'm going to have to kind of, well, Eh, it won't be too bad. I should get there before 8. Who knows? But, um, yeah. Leaving Harper's Ferry. Alright, let's get to it. What's up, guys? Well, uh, also when I crossed the CNO Canal, um, that is the border of uh, West Virginia and Maryland. So goodbye, West Virginia. That's another state down. And uh, now I'm in Maryland. I don't know how many miles are in Maryland, but it's not a lot. It's less than 40. But uh, yeah, and then after Maryland, we'll be crossing into Pennsylvania at the, uh, yeah, the Penmar border. And that is also the Mason-Dixon line. So. All right, well, I just want to put that in there. Another state down. See you later, West Virginia, and hel hello, Maryland.
Um, I have made camp, but uh, this uh, shelter, the uh, the water source is like point four downhill. So I went ahead and just empty out my backpack and then, uh, you know, I can use my trekking poles. Um, Cause I mean, point four, that's gonna be point eight round trip. So that's almost a mile just to get water. But uh, yeah, it kind of sucks. But um, uh, yeah, I just wanted to get on here and uh, say that, uh, yeah, we, uh, you know, West Virginia, you know, it, it it came and went really quick. I mean, I, I, I doubt we were there for ten miles or so, but um, uh, I'm I'm sure it's beautiful. I mean, hell, John Denver wrote a song about it, so uh, I'm sure I'm sure it's amazing. Um, but uh, yeah, I made it to Ed Harvey Shelter. Um, it's uh, it's like six miles out of uh, Harper's Ferry, and into Maryland, which is the new state we're in. Um, that's five states down and nine to go. Um, the trail is 14 states. So yeah, five down, nine to go. Yeah. All right. But, uh, yeah, I just want to get on here and, um, say thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the morning. Country roads, take me home to the place I belong. West Virginia, Mountain Mama, take me home, country roads.